वेलकम एस्पिरेंट्स इन द एडुकेमीज जोग्राफी ऑप्शनल रिविजन सेशन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ जियो मॉर्फोलॉजी एंड द टॉपिक इज आइसो स्टेसी फाइन लेट एस स्टार्ट द आइसो स्टेसी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट द प्रैट थ्योरी एरीज थ्योरी एंड द प्लेट टेक्टॉनिक्स एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन फाइन लेट एस सी सम ऑफ द पी वाई क्यूज दैट हैव बीन आस्ट इन द प्रीवियस ईयर्स वन इज डिफाइन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ आइसोस्टेसी एंड डिस्कस द पॉस्टुलेशन ऑफ एरी एंड प्रैट आस्ट इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड सेवन सेकेंड इज एक्सप्लेन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ आइसोस्टेसी एज पॉस्टुलेटेड बाय एरी एंड प्रैट इन टू थाउजेंड इलेवन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ प्लेट टेक्टॉनिक्स हैज बिन डिराइड फ्रॉम आइसोस्टेसी एंड द कॉन्टिनेंटल ड्रिफ्ट इलेबोरेट साइटिंग सूटेबल एग्जाम्पल्स दिस वॉज आस्ट इन so you can see that couple of times they have asked the arian prat and once they have asked about the concept of plate tectonics so while studying about the isostasy it would be fine if you are confined yourselves to the arian prat and the concept of plate tectonics and what i can conclude is that the first time they have asked in 2007 then a gap after a gap of 4 years in 2011 and then after a gap of 10 years in 2021 so i think already 4 years are there that it is yet to be asked so there is a high possibility that it can be asked in this year in 2025 okay so let's start the isostasy the in simple terms i can say that isostasy means the isostasios which means equal standing and the term isostasy was first proposed by an american whose name was clarence dutton in 1889 just to indicate the state of balance between the existing landforms on the earth surface or in simple terms i can say it is a natural principle that determines the mechanical stability of land forms fine this is a keyword that you can use it determines the mechanical stability of land forms and it becomes the basis of how the material on the earth as well as the interior is being distributed this isostasy is basically to address the gravitational anomaly it is to address the gravitational anomaly fine and there are three particular theories that are related to isostasy the first is pratt theory this pratt theory is also called as compensation theory so what the pratt says pratt says that equal masses underlying equal areas look at this figure that is being shown in the slide you can consider these three figures as three blocks or three landforms pratt says if the cross section area this is the cross section area if the cross section area of a cross section area of b and the cross section area of c if the cross section of all these three landforms are equal means ca is equal to cb is equal to cc that mean the masses masses means the mass of entire block fine the mass of a is equal to mass of b equal to mass of c however he also said that this mass is only up to a certain depth and this depth is called as the depth of compensation this is the depth of compensation the term that you need to remember and this also implies that the bodies with higher elevation and thickness will have less density fine just look at this figure this shows that the density of c is greater than the density of b and the density of b is greater than density of a you can write like this that all the densities are not the same density of c is greater than density of b and density of b is greater than density of a that means bodies with lesser height have higher density high density has ki fine so that is why they are like this pratt also says that this density variation density variation is from this point to this point this to this this density variation is only up to a certain depth and beyond this depth the density variation is compensated by rocks and a material of comparable and same density means beyond this point the density is comparable and it is of same density so this is also called as the compensation theory of isostasy however hayford and boy hayford and boy have made slight modifications in the idea of pratt they say that in this pratt's idea we have a depth of compensation but hayford and boy have focused on the plane of compensation fine hayford and boy have focused on the plane of compensation and this plane of compensation is at a depth of 100 km from 
सरफेस सो दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इन मॉडर्न डे इज वेरी क्लोज टू द रियालिटी बिकॉज लिटॉस्फेरिक प्लेट्स हैव अ थिकनेस ऑफ अराउंड हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स एंड दे फ्लोट ओवर एस्थनोस्फेयर फाइन नेक्स्ट इज द एरीज इंटरप्रिटेशन और वी कैन से द सर जॉर्ज एरीज इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ आइसोस्टेसी ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज द फ्लोटेशन थ्योरी लुक एट दिस फिगर इन दिस फिगर देर आर टू वुडन ब्लॉक्स दैट आर फ्लोटिंग इन अ डेंसर मीडियम वाटर वाई दे आर फ्लोटिंग बिकॉज द डेंसर वाटर इज प्रोवाइडिंग अ बुअंसी फोर्स टू दैम एंड दिस बुअंसी फोर्स इज स्टेबलाइजिंग द वुड इन दिस वाटर फाइन सो दैट इज वाई जॉर्ज एरी सेज द लैंड फॉर्म्स आर ऑल्सो लाइक दिस and the landforms are stabilized in accordance with the flotation principle just like the blocks of wood are floating on a water so also the landforms also float because the denser medium is providing a buoyancy that stabilizes the landforms look at this this is a denser medium and these denser mediums are providing a buoyancy force that are stabilizing these landforms fine however there is a slight difference between the airy and a pratt idea pratt talks that in landforms with different densities that are compensated at a common depth while airy assumes that all landforms of same density material but with different depths look at this this is the different depths under the floating medium so airy's theory is also called as roots theory of isostasy is called as the roots theory of isostasy but neither the airy nor the pratt suggested ki what exactly would be the ratio of the part that would be above the crust and below the crust there was another person whose name was jolly jolly suggested or jolly has recommended that this ratio would be 1 is to 8 means for every one part that is above or that is emerge there would always be a eight parts below the crust you can see in this figure also the one part is the emergent crust and the eight parts are below the crust okay so nowadays in fact this is the most accepted principle or most of the theories till date is being based on the flotation principle because it seems to be more appropriate more applicable and with some modification it is quite suitable to the correct scenario also the flotation principle is even applicable for lithospheric plates as the lithospheric plates are floating over asthenosphere fine next is third one that is the plate tectonics interpretation this plate tectonics interpretation of isostasy is also based on the flotation principle theek okay? hai flotation principle that was the principle of airy fine plate tectonics have also accommodated the pratt's idea of varying density however two modifications have been made in the tectonics interpretation the first modification is that landforms do not float independent of each other landforms are always balanced together and this isostatic balance is not a local phenomena this is not a localized one isostatic phenomena is not a local one fine other is that landforms are floating together on a surface which acts like a stretched membrane with flexural rigidity now the key term is the flexural rigidity so what exactly the flexural rigidity is all the isostatic stability is maintained because of flexural rigidity and you might have heard about the olivine rocks olivine rocks has a unique property of flexural rigidity suppose look at this this is a place and there is an excessive load on it fine this excessive load can be in form of dam construction can be in form of urbanization some fresh water is being added into the ocean due to the melting of glaciers fine when the excess of load is being applied on it there will be a more stress on this part and the olivine rocks here the olivine rocks are located the olivine rocks will start losing their rigidity and they will move to some other parts in the lithosphere while their movement will also cause the upliftment like they have been shown in the figure also fine and in case this load is being removed or if this is unloaded theek hai isko hata diya if this is being unloaded then what will happen again the olivine rocks which have been shifted from its original place these olivine rocks will come back to their original position and this is called as isostatic rebound this is called as isostatic rebound and there are multiple examples of isostatic imbalances and rebound like there have been slow and a gradual upliftment of scandinavian 
shield or scandinavian highlands and as per the experts it is rising at the rate of one foot every 20 years same observations have also been seen in alaska where alaska is being uplifted due to the melting of ice that is associated with the global warming other isostatic imbalances or the other effect of isostatic imbalances can be the earthquakes land upliftment or land subsidence fine so this was all about the three theories but before i wind up this session i just want to give you a short and in brief a difference between the pratt scenario it is given in tabular form first is according to pratt's all blocks have equal depth thickness with varying density and airy says the all blocks have equal density with varying depth and thickness pratt's says the basic principle is that his theory is based on the law of compensation airy says his theory is based on the law of flotation fine third is that uh, pratt th believed in the contraction of earth in the process of origin of earth or he thought that the earth has shrunk over a time however airy believed that earth has expanded due to the heat inside pushing upwards fine fourth point is pratt's idea was or his concept was based on local observation airy's idea was also based on local observation means both have used the real world observations like how mountains valleys are look and how and later on they come out with their ideas another is the pratt model is used for mid oceanic ridges yes it fits better with the mid oceanic ridges where the change in density are more important airy's model is used for continental topography or i can say it is used for continents and mountains where thick crust roots support tall landforms and the last is pratt pratt has not used the word root but airy has used it because airy thinks that the taller land needs a deep root like the base of mountain so this is the basic difference between the pratt and airy this is all about the isostasy thank you and have a nice day